What's up, what's up, everybody? Calling Sadiambo is my name. Shifting mindsets and raising potential is my game. Throughout the teens and the young adults, you know, gain clarity, get unstuck so that they can be the gap between where they are and where they want to be in their sports, in their careers, and in their life. Now, today, what I want to talk about is something um, that I've learned through playing basketball. And over the next course of uh, weeks, we're going to be talking about different attitudes that you can learn from sports that you can apply in life. I remember like over 10 years ago, I was watching a Michael Jordan documentary and he said one thing, he said that basketball has been more than just a game, it has been a teacher of life. When you're playing basketball or any other sport, you'll come to realize later in your life there's some things that, you know, you've developed or there's some attitudes that you've developed through playing the game if you plant a seed for example of um, a passion fruit you don't expect fruits to show up the next day you don't go to the farm and start criticizing and putting so much pressure on the seed with uh, unrealistic expectations for it to yield some fruits what you have to do is you have to water it you have to give it manure you have to be patient the first attitude is patience patience is really key when it comes to your self-esteem as an athlete as a young person it is really important to understand patience first of all you will set your goals you have things that you want to accomplish in your life you have th- you have goals in sports in your school you know in your career but you have to be patient and you have to understand patience because if you are not patient your self-esteem will go low. You know why? Because number one, you'll have unrealistic expectations. Okay? You expect so much within a short period of time. It doesn't work like that. And understand uh, if you're able to understand that, my friend, you'll be way ahead than somebody who's stressing himself because he planted a seed today and tomorrow he's not uh, seeing any fruits. This is not Instagram where you post a photo and immediately you get a, a like. You understand? When it comes to life, when it comes to sports, you have to understand that growth takes time. You have to be patient, but you must be in motion. Okay? You must be doing something. I'm patient. But I'm doing something, you know, I'm doing something towards, you know, getting that result or getting that fruit. When I was in campus, I understood one thing. That um, before you even join the team, before you even play in the in the league, you must spend like a year just working out, just being part of the team. So once I was able to understand that, I decided this one year, I had two goals, to join the team and to make the team that will go and represent the school uh, during the East Africa games. And I was able to do that. In fact, I played all the games. And that, uh, you know, like, was an advantage for me when it came to the following year during the scholarships, uh, when you were being awarded the scholarships, I mean. You understand? I understood that it's going to take time. So I was not in a hurry. But during that time, I was working out. I was continuously practicing. I was continuously learning and growing from these other players because I knew, you know, my time will come. You understand? And that is the same thing uh, when it comes to life. And I apply it in my life right now. When I decide to do something, when I decide to focus on something or to grow in a particular area in my life, I normally tell myself, be patient okay but always keep keep going be on the move okay so my encouragement to you young guys today if you're in sports and maybe you're not playing the game right now be patient just keep on working because this is the thing if the only expectation you have in your mind is to play that that league game i believe it's important but that is the only thing that is in your mind. When you, are, when you sit on the bench for a long time, you're going to give up. 
and that day when an opportunity shows up and you're told oh kolo go into the game if you've been training you will show up my friend you will play your game and you never know somebody else might see the value in you that your coach has not seen <laughs> it happens you understand and they call you and you go to the other team and you you, you get your playing time you understand and you play and you do whatever you want to do you understand uh, but if you're not patient if you're not in motion when that opportunity comes what will happen you will choke you will be afraid you won't be ready what i've come to learn is also is um, when it comes to patience you know you may be patient for example to play for a particular team that uh, maybe you're part of but you know if you're growing in the game if you are improving on your skills you know just the idea of playing the game at a high level you know just the idea of improving your skill is i feel like it's more important because even if you don't play in the game in the league you can find other um places to play maybe in your hood at your home court i mean the, you are playing that is the real thing you are playing and the good thing as you play you are learning you stand you are you are improving so understand that growth takes time you have to be in motion and also embrace the idea that you know i don't have to put so much pressure on myself just be patient understand that it will take time and um, i have to continuously work on my skills on my studies on my on my craft you understand on my communication you know on my you know, design skills if that is something that you're interested in you have to keep on working but be patient so that is the first attitude now did you get value of this video if your answer is yes please remember to subscribe share this video with your friends and family other young athletes okay and if you have any questions man please hit me up you can send me directly on my facebook page call me elevate you if you have something you want to want me to talk about please share it you understand and follow me on instagram bana at collins underscore eu follow me on instagram okay i share content there each and every day content content that you know coach you inspire you and uh challenge you to be the best version of yourself as a young guy or a young girl okay other than that people love your life that is the only life you have live fully so that you can rest in peace and create a legacy because how you live on this planet is what you're going to leave behind it's your boy calling sadiambo and I'm out.